All right, Natasha says, how do I stay focused on myself instead of looking at what others have? I'm so hurt from past relationships and all I see is others happy. Man, happiness is an illusion. Joy is the real thing. This joy that I have, the world didn't give it. And if the world didn't give it, the world can't take away. Happiness is an illusion. Everyone is pursuing happiness, but nobody settled in joy. The Bible says the joy of the Lord is your strength. So if you're not strengthened, then you're pursuing the wrong thing. Uh, <clears throat> the, the, I'm telling you from experience, joy is the greatest asset on earth. The two things that I, that I refuse to let anybody take me out of or bother me is my joy and my peace. And joy and peace at its purest form is found in the presence of God and in an engaging relationship with him. That's why I advise everyone to look at their heart and say, do I know God? Do I love him? Am I, is he my everything? And that's a process, but it, it, it accelerates when you really begin to understand that without him, you are nothing. So how you can focus on yourself instead of looking at what others have is to realize that you can't compare your life with somebody else's uh, selective postings. That people, people, people only post their 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 uh, their uh, highlights. They don't post their their uh, low lives. They don't post the negatives. They post the positives. And so most of the people we are we have grown up through an era, and some people were birthed in this era era of social media where everything is about instant gratification and instant uh, illusion. It, uh, uh, instant illusions. What I mean by that is I can make you believe something that I'm doing when I'm not about it. Chances are, if you see their marriage online a lot, if you see their relationships a lot online, they're insecure about it. Anyone who posts their relationship all the time and has to show everybody what they're eating every day, we know what you eat. Come on, man. I don't want every day. We know what you eat every day. We know what y'all doing. If you see it, chances are they're not being it. People who are confident, see, think about it. When you have something valuable, you hide it. There's a difference between rich and wealthy. Wealthy people can wear a t-shirt and some khakis and drive a pickup truck because they're wealthy. People who are rich got to get the flashiest car, flashiest clothes. Those people, you, 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 you showing too much of yourself and it brings in unnecessary drama. It brings in people who want to burg burglarize you and steal from you. See, I don't show my marriage all the time because I'm I, it's, it's too valuable. I'm not, when I have kids, I'm not going to show my kids all the time. They're too valuable. Why am I going to express... Uh, uh, we're not talking about I can't post anytime. I'm talking about posting excessively. Those people are not really happy. They're, they, they're, they're trying to make themselves believe that what they have is the truth when, when it really isn't. So how to stay happy? Not let me say it's happy. How to be a, a person of joy is to enjoy God. Enter joy, enjoy, E-N, enter joy, enter his joy, and you will be strengthened even in the midst of everybody else's illusionary happiness. When you when you say the word I'm so hurt from past relationships, that means right now you're going through the withdrawal side effect period of being ripped away from your idols, being being ripped away or being pruned into you to having the right perspective of your past. And this is one of the byproducts of that. You begin. Um, this is what happens. You're going through the withdrawal period. You're going through the pruning phase. And, but keep staying with God during it and realize that most of the people that you're envying, God didn't even do half the stuff for them that they're posting online. And when you begin to realize how God does things and how flawed and fake and, and how much people lie, it's crazy how many people compare their real life to somebody else's fake life and be disappointed that their real life ain't fake enough. Listen, don't, 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 don't. And that's what rappers do. That's what people in the world do. They don't even, they don't live their raps. The, the, the society is using their raps to, to poison the, the minds of a generation to do what they rap about and suffer the consequence that they don't. So how do you stay focused on yourself? Realizing you got a lot of room to improve. The reason why I don't think about nobody else, because I got too much to work on for myself. You are your greatest project. You can become anything that God wants you to be, but you got to work on yourself.